Welcome along to the Paul Report here on Boing Boing TV. Uh, we've come to the Zoo 2008 Festival in Kent and we're here with a bit of a, a mission statement. You see, we've been watching back over the reports we've been making for the past few months and we like them, but we think we've been missing out on something, the joie de vivre that got us going in the first place. So uh, we're going to go feral, ladies and gentlemen, just like we're used to. Straight lines, no brakes. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. It doesn't matter. This is the Port Report. Happy camping. Hot fire. Well, I've brought my tent to Kent for a rum do in a zoo, and I'm a very happy camper because, well, as ever, the first people we've uh, bumped into are Dana Sack and Scroobius Pip. Gentlemen, once again, it's almost as if you're following me around. We do, we wait at the gates for you, and cool. we're like, what's going on? Are you on our rider? <laughs> we actually right? have Russell Ford on our rider. We kick off if, if, he, if, the, if you're not delivered. No, it's good. I mean, um, who was it? It was David Lee Roth used to have blue, uh, all the blue M&Ms removed from his uh, rider. Stick a bit of Russell Porter in, mix it up a little. <laughs> I'm easy to find at festivals anyway, because I'm normally the guy outside saying, no, I, I really do have a press pass. You've mistaken me for a jitsu. Classic. So we've missed your performance. Yep. Any good, was it? Much cop? It's memorable. memorable was it? Very memorable, <laughs> yeah, to be honest. You've probably missed a classic. Um, yeah, it's gonna, it's, just, it's gonna be one of those ones that the people talk about for years. Were you there? <laughs> Were you on your way to Kent? You know, that kind of thing. Prince, Prince came on, did, did his bit. Prince did he? Came on, he joined right. us for our cover of Cream. Right, because I know he's a big fan. I know he's a big fan. A Ronson tr well, trotted I say a big up. Fan. <laughs> Ronson trotted up and kind of just did up. nothing. He played a bit of guitar on one yeah. of the songs, it was nice. David he, Lee, he trotted up looking better than us. David Lee Roth, Roth came up and ate blue M&Ms. Just, just, to, to just to rub just everybody's down nose, isn't it? Room. Yeah. yeah. The dizzy bowled on, had a bit of a chat. Kicked the shit out of us. Yeah. Are we so, allowed to swear? Uh, yeah, I swear. Yeah, I in swear. life or in this? <laughs> Both. If you do get a bit too close to the mark, I will reel you back in, though. Good. Like Wouldn't a tender be, shepherd. You being the man whose catchphrase used to be all right, cunt. Yeah, you probably won't be able to say the C word. There's that five minutes ruined. <laughs> Uh, once again, it's on the uh, on the floor of the editing room of my life. <laughs> Especially in this instance, never ending pussies and use the words in East Enders. If they were blood instruments, to beat a hole in their defense, beauty and their innocence. So it's real resistance, but I've all good and says the beat that my heart skips. Says the beat that my heart skips. Says the beat that my heart skips. So where else have you, where else have you been playing? You've been uh, over to America a few times, haven't you, since the last time uh, I saw Not you? America a bit. It's been nice. Yeah, we got to do Coachella, which right, again, okay. another time where Prince came, came and joined on. us on stage. He's <laughs> yeah. always, he's following us. Uh, we're on his rider. You're following me. On. It's like it a massive um, sex circle. It was yes. good. He rolled out of bed. We all jumped in, had a little cuddle, just a five minute interval. This is a little cuddle with Prince. He was all right. Um, yeah, we've been all over the shop and, and, and we're off to Japan in a couple of weeks. <coughs> so that'll be nice. Are we? Bit of Japan, yeah. What, nice. What's it like to play to an American crowd, bearing in mind that Whichever way you look at it, it's kind of rooted in hip hop. What you're doing, even if it, in, not in the um, the execution, yeah. but like the inspiration behind it is sort of firmly rooted in hip hop. Is it something that the, the, the American crowd kind of latch onto, or uh, they seem to get it? It's weird. We weren't sh uh, sure if they would because it's not. Yeah, you'd put it on. You'd. If someone would describe us as hip hop, therefore yeah. we'd get American hip hop fans turn up. Yeah. Whereas then we're not what a lot of Americans would consider to be hip hop. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's kind of we weren't sure how it'd go down, but it's been going down really nicely. Although it's quite, I, I, I think 
are they enjoying things that are quite Anglo-centric at the moment? Yeah. Thanks to, uh, to the office. <laughs> it's done us all some good in America. They can all handle British people now. It so. was never going to be George and Mildred, was it? <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. That was never going to be the crossover. Didn't translate. Well, um, they don't till Deficit Park go down well in the south. <laughs> yeah, like very probably. There. I know it doesn't uh, in Australia, but have look, you ever seen the American well, bought, Steptoe and Son? I was going to say they bought the Steptoe and Son. Yeah, and stuff, right. They? Yeah, yeah. Stanwick and Son, I think it was called. Like and, like and they're black. Right. Brilliant. Yeah, not no racistness. Racistness. Racist night. Racist night there. Not from them. Not from Maybe them. Maybe a little touch from you. A little bit. <laughs> I just noticed, did you actually get your, you got, had your lip tattoo, I've haven't you, like you were tattoo, saying, let's yeah, have a look. Pit. It's only a, a week old. Ooh. Purely for everyone who comes up to me and goes, are you dead in the sack? <laughs> so now I, I can say no. That's a big, that's a big, big shout to follow, that one, Daniel. <laughs> big shout to follow. <laughs> no comment. No comment. Right, well, if you're going to get all withdrawn and sullen, <laughs> let's finish the interview right there. Uh, thank you, as ever, for the little chat. And uh, this one's for Billy. This one's for Billy? Billy. Your little Billy. cousin Billy? <laughs> Big cousin Billy. Big cousin Billy. Big bad Billy. Right on. Russell Porter, The Port Report, Boing Boing TV, coming in your face like a flannel. This is a letter from God to man. It says, hey there, how's it going? Long time no see. Yeah, I know I haven't been around much lately, but it didn't seem like you wanted me to be. <laughs> the last time I sent down a message, you nailed it to the cross, so I figured I'd just leave you to it, let you be your own boss. But I've been keeping an eye on you, I have, and it's amazing how you've grown. With well, technological advances and the problems you've overthrown, all the beautiful art you've created with such grace and such finesse, but I must admit there are a few things I'm afraid have impressed me less. So I'm writing to apologise for horrors committed in my name. Well, that was never what I intended. I feel I should take my share of the blame. Not the good I tried to was corrupted when organised religion got into full swing. What I thought were quite clear messages were taken to unusual extremes. My teachings were taken out of context to meet the agendas of others. Interpretations taken in different ways, hidden meanings discovered. Religion became a tool for the weak to control the strong. With all these new morals and ethics, survival of the fittest was gone. No longer could the biggest man simply take whatever he needed, cause damnation was the price. If certain rules were not heeded, some of the deeds committed in my name made me wonder I went wrong. Back at the start when I created this, the foundation seemed so strong, see all the elements were already here. Long before I began, I just kind of put them all together. I didn't really think out a long term plan. I made the sun in the appropriate distance, laid the stars across the sky, so you could navigate this globe, or watch the sunrise, I covered the earth with plants and fruit, some for sustenance, some for beauty, made the sun shine and clouds rain, so their maintenance wasn't your duty, try to give these creatures your own attributes, about making them enveloped, gave you all your own space to grow, in your own way space to develop, I didn't know that such developments were called rifts and jealousy, caused you to war against each other, leave marks this planet indelibly, you see, I wasn't the creator, I was more the curator of nature, and I was set things straight with homosexuals right now, I don't hate you, I was a simple being that happened to be the first to use such power. I just laid the ground. It was you that built the towers. It was you that invented bombs and the fear that comes with them. It was you that invented money and the corrupt economic systems. You invented terms like just one term.
Use the words in each sentence. If there were blunt instruments, the beat are holding their defense, beauty and their innocence. Stands for resistance, but I've all good and tends to beat that my heart skips. Says the beat that my heart skips. Says the beat that my heart skips. 